This week on BuzzFeed Unsolved, we will cover the chilling mystery of the audacious wardrobe. This is one of the scariest cases we've ever come across. Well, if the wardrobe has been haunting people for years, then don't you think they would have destroyed it by now? In 1783, a man woke to the sound of his wardrobe, telling him just how ugly he was. Mr. Shackelfer said, and I quote, It was the most horrific thing I'd ever heard. The police inspected the wardrobe, including the house, but later found no evidence of sound ever emerging from the wardrobe. That sounds weird. Are you sure that the people who heard this aren't like psychotic? That's a lot of people for them to just be crazy. It must be something more. The wardrobe was later passed on to an antique shop and then bought by a woman by the name of Sylvia Rodriguez. When Sylvia began to move the wardrobe, I began to speak to her. While recounting the events, Sylvia died. Well, that's inconvenient. Couldn't she have died, like, after recalling the events? Sean, yay! This woman might haunt you in your sleep if you're not careful. <laughs> yeah, right. The wardrobe was passed on to her granddaughter but she sold it on eBay for $5. A woman by the name of Heather Smith later bought this wardrobe and put it in her new home. There are three theories. One, the wardrobe has a man inside who actually talks. Number two, the wardrobe is actually haunted. And number three, the entire thing has just been an act this entire time. Sean Yee, the door was already... There it is. The Lord. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What are we supposed to do? Do we... Um, let me see if it'll talk. Hello, my name is Mr. Wardrobe. Stop talking. It's talking. It's talking. It's talking. Oh my gosh. I think we actually solved this mystery. The wardrobe is haunted. BuzzFeed solved!